Linking Learning is it's an initiative to bring a whole of community together to support families to give young people the best possible chance they have of success in life. And that involves bringing all of the uh, stakeholders together to create that seamless transition right from the, the word go, zero years of age, right through to about the start of secondary school. I think even though we've only been going a relatively short period of time, uh, together with what we're doing in the classroom, and that would be the same at the primary school, we can see gains with the children in terms of their reading and their writing, and their listening, their speaking and listening, and that's um, what we're about. When a child is born, they're given a bag of books and other literacy resources, and the, the workers then provide some instruction to the, to the young parents on how to deliver that program. So in a couple of our centres what we're going to do is once a month we're going to have a Let's Read Day. So like at um, Hopeton, the librarian from the high school is going to come to our playgroup and do Let's Read. Here in Warwick Nabeel, they've got the Let's Read books at the playgroup as well and they will focus on them as well and they've also got them at the kindergarten here so there's a few avenues that the kids are going to be exposed to these books. 10 times a day she'll bring me a book and she'll say book, book. And we will sit down and read the book over and over and over and I'll have to tell her a different book so that she'll hop down and go and get a different book. <laughs> we were trying to think of, of how can we get community members involved in supporting our local primary schools in reading to and building the level of literacy in young people who need it. So we went to the year 10s and 11s and we simply asked who would like to be in a program where you give up two hours a week to go and work with some young people in the local school. So I'm working with the secondary college students and I'm teaching them the concepts of pre-literacy skills which then they get to go and work with the primary school students. So we had nine people who were willing to give up two hours of their time every week for a whole year, at least a whole year to be trained by the speech pathologist to go down to the school and build a really loving, strong relationship with a young person and help them develop their literacy over time. The schools in White Nabil are all working together with regard to this project. We're certainly having regular meetings with the coordinators of the Reading of the Words program, which is the Reading Buddies program, uh, regularly to make sure that White Nabil Primary School and St Mary's uh, right down to letter formation. Do the children form their letters the same in both schools? Are they taught reading the same in both schools? So that we're all in sync and the reading buddies who are going to the primary school, for example, and the reading buddies who are coming here are prepared in the same way. We read through the books, we go through sounds and letters and all that, and then we look a bit deeper into the stories. We analyse the pictures, We have a talk about what we see in them, what we think might happen in the story. All about thinking a bit deeper into the books I, I like. One thing that we wanted to do was try and have an impact in the home. Home learning, we know, has a massive impact. What the student brings to school is probably the greatest, uh, has the greatest effect on a student's uh, outcomes at school. And we came up with the idea of having a place where parents could drop in with their young children it's absolutely full of resources and books with some volunteers there to read to their children. And in doing that and exposing the families to more books, we're hoping that that, you know, that way of thinking can rub off and, and even if we're giving books away, they're taking them home. That's a great outcome because we're getting more words out there for the kids to read. Good girl. What about that cow? No. So at the moment we have wide ranging, we've got uh, the local newspaper, they're on the steering committee. We have Rural Northwest Health who provide the speech pathologist to us uh, free of charge. All of the schools, the kindergarten, the local learning and employment network, they're uh, a key stakeholder in as well. So we even have police on the steering panel as well. So it's quite, it's quite a broad cross section of town. Oh, and I better not forget the uh, the local shire as well, the council, they're, they're a great supporter. If everything's structured and settled down around them, they will, I think, progress and they're happy to do so. Um, but if we can make those transition points coming in from kinder to foundation and year six to year seven, as seamless and uh, lacking anxiety as possible, 
I think the, the children will thrive.